Hey friends, Ash here with Jensen. So it's uh, the beginning of my collection video. This is part one. I'm taking these down for cleaning and I figured good as time as any to, to film this. And it's a heavy undertaking. Apologies for the, the amateur look of the video. I've also got Tommy from Studio Sense behind the camera here. I'm gonna be handing the fragrances to him as he helps me get through these. So let's just jump into it. I'm not gonna to spend too much time with each fragrance because it's already gonna be really long. So we're gonna start on the top shelf. We've got Armani Code A-List. We have Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal in the Navy. We have Ultra Mall and Aviator. And this isn't necessarily all done by house. Some parts of my collection are, some parts look random to other people, but to me they make sense. And this shelf is one of the ones that looks random. So we have uh, Jimmy Choo Man Blue, and then Gentleman by Givenchy. We've got Animal, Animal, and Guess 1981 Los Angeles. That one smells a little bit like Eros. Guess 1981 Indigo, another good cheapie. Nivea Men, Just Blue. <laughs> I got this a while ago, and I planned on reviewing it. Never have. And Nivea actually has a few different fragrances. Yeah, a couple of discontinued ones right here. We've got Alpine Suede and Whitewater Rush. So these were discontinued at Bath and Body Works and when they discontinued these, you could pick them up for next to nothing. On the bottom it says $29.50, but when these were discontinued, they had them in store for like, like 10, 15 bucks or something. And I bought these and I've still just left them in the, in the box. And uh, those weren't the ones that people really talked about a lot. It was of course Mahogany Woods but I picked those up too. Also got Bad Boy. <laughs> Bad Boy, the yeah, the lightning bolt. And Old Spice, Night Spice, That's look at that. This is a legit old school looking bottle. Don't know how well that comes across on camera, but this has a very 80s look to it. 80s, early 90s kind of look. All right, this is uh, Haramein du Nun Noir, and then Lacoste Loam and Loam Intense. These are really good, cheap fragrances. Nice cheapies. Focus on rhubarb there. We've got Azaro Chrome, Under the Pole. This one, uh, a really weird milky look to the fragrance. And then Jill Sander, Sun Men Fizz. I really like these bottles for some reason. They're just, they're very, very plain, but I like the look of them. Just, I think how thin they are. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. And then Modern Leather from Aramis. Bottega Veneta. Pour Homme, Solid Scent, Pure Excess and Pure Excess Night. I like both of these. I've talked about those a bunch on the channel, of course. 212 VIP Party Fever. This one had a cannabis note. That's what people talked about a lot, but it doesn't really. And then Kenneth Cole, this one discontinued. I've got the uh, 1.7 and then a 30 mil as well. I'm still just on the top shelf. I'm never gonna get through this. <laughs> a Spice Bomb Fresh and then also Spice Bomb Night Vision, Spice Bomb Extreme, and Spice Bomb. So all the bombs of spice. Uh, great discontinued fragrance here, In the Mood for Love Man, Jean-Franco Fair. And this one, I believe you can still pick up for a decent price online, not too terribly expensive. Guerlain Louis, really nice fragrance. I picked that up for like 60-ish bucks. Uh, fragrance Net or Fragrance X, don't remember. And then uh, Kinzo, Kinzo legit fragrance. And then this one is Amber Chris, uh, House of Matriarch, in memory of Mr. Siaz, rest in peace. Chris Giorgio, he was an awesome guy. Guerlain Dupont, that one, super good. Uh, Quorum and Davidoff Hot Water. Yeah, Hot Water Night, excuse me, Hot Water Night. Uh, this one discontinued, harder to find. So this one I, I bought on a, a Facebook group or in a Facebook group from one of the editors of uh, Fragrantica, actually. Lo Major DC by Isi Miyake. Lo Super Major DC. This one's better, in my opinion. Then we've got another Sun Man or Sun Men. This one is Bath. Yeah, not Fizz. But again, I like those bottles. And then Loam by uh, Rojas. That one's pretty good. And we just completed the first, first row. Oof. We've only got four to go on this bookshelf. Got Scent Story 24, Elixir, Rise of the Superb. We have uh, Centauri Gaia and Proxima. These are, of course, uh, Fragrance View. His uh, fragrance line, rather, and he is the perfumer 
of those fragrances. Precious Liquid, the Rolling Musk, very, very nice. Rich Mess by Ryan Richmond. That one's a really strong fragrance, heavy on leather. Carolina Herrera Insignia. I do like that heavy metal on the front there. And these two from Juniper Ridge, uh, Topanga Canyon and Mojave. So there's a couple of interesting ones. Bulgari Man, Wood Essence, kind of off on its own because most of my Bulgaris are over there. Mont Blanc Explorer, the uh, designer of Ventus. Precious Liquid Mandarin, another one I love. Gucci Guilty Cologne and Dolce & Gabbana K, Eau de Toilette. Those two, mm, don't like quite as much. Next up we got Abbott, Big Sky, and we've got a few from Smellbent. So there's Dry, Sweet Tyranny, and then Nov. N-O-V, smell bent, very interesting indie house. And then Halloween Man X, which is a, a fave of mine for cheapies. A Vince Camuto Virtu, which I did an interesting review on. <laughs> Valentino Womo, born in Roma. Kieran NYC Sunday Brunch. Davidoff Horizon right here, which is actually pretty good for a cheapie. And then Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gautier. A couple tacky bottles, Carolina Herrera CH Kings, and then Carolina Herrera CH Beasts. Yeah, <laughs> that's a tacky bottle. Pineapple Vintage Intense. This is uh, one of the OG bottles of Vintage Intense. Wife loves that one. Guerlain, Samsara, and then Dunhill Century. And this is a tester, so, so right there, but comes with the cab. Yeah. Got another uh, Parfums Vintage, Senses Obliterous. And then uh, Roger Parfums Elixir. And the three aliens, try not to drop it. So Alien Man, Alien Man Fusion, Alien Man Mirage, all three of those right here. You know, I'm not in love with the Alien Man fragrances, but maybe one day they'll grow on me. And now we've got the Wanteds. So Wanted by Night. And two bottles of Wanted. This one's nearly empty. And then this one uh, was really, really cheap, so I picked it up and wanted Tonic, which is my least favorite of the bunch. We've got uh, Zeno by Davidoff. This one's great. Montal Aoud Lagoon. Most of my Montals are in this shelf right here, but that one is over here. Uh, Bottega Veneta Pour Homme Parfum. And then Missoni Olympios. Now this fragrance right here, uh, you may be able to still find it on eBay for a decent price, but this is discontinued and it smells really similar to vintage Dior Fahrenheit. So if you like that vintage Dior Fahrenheit smell and you can find that for a, a decent price, pick that up. Uh, these two are, are kind of strange. So they're from Marcos Orlando and these were sent to me a long time ago, a uh, very long time ago. And one is called Carnal and the other is called Stachi. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I don't think they ever actually turned those into fragrances that went to market or anything. Gin Studio Based Arts. So some of you know what that is, some of you don't. Um, it's kind of like Molecule One. Belle Dopium, Yves Saint Laurent. And so Belle Dopion <laughs> maybe would be a better pronunciation. I was trying just not to flip that out of my hand, but discontinued fragrance there. Uh, Chariol uh, Eau de Parfum. And then 99 Regent Street and this one uh, I bought like this so it looks all kind of beat up no cap and and the bottle doesn't look the best but this one's discontinued it smells a little bit similar to Green Irish Tweed and uh, I got it for a really 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 cheap price and it usually goes for much more and then three Gallivants we've got Tokyo Berlin and Brooklyn so three Gallivants and that is uh, number two, <laughs> shelf number two. So this next one has a lot of stuff on it. Let's just jump into it. Okay, we've got Emporio Armani, Stronger With You, the original, Ellie Saab, uh, Ombre, super good. I've reviewed this fragrance, this whole line, uh, perfumed by Francis Kirkjohn. And then Boss The Scent Parfum Edition. This one makes use of Iris prominently. Of course, that line uses Meninka, which is this exotic, dusty sort of fruit. And then Raja Parfums. Enigma Parfum Pour Homme, which smells amazing. We've got Zara. This is the Tobacco Collection Intense Dark Exclusive. We've got some The Scent Fragrances. So this is The Scent Intense, The Scent Private Accord, The Scent Absolute, and just The Scent. <laughs> so 
I'm a fan of the, the scent line for the most part. Got some Zara fragrances. This one is called Don't Follow, and it comes with this like little leather kind of pouch that it sits inside. You can take the bottle out of it. There's uh, Zara Soft Haze, Zara 9.0. This one I like, pretty good. And then these two, Zara Crude and Dark Crude. These came as a uh, like two-in-one pack. And one of them I think smells pretty similar to uh, like Invictus, Invictus Aqua, I think actually. We've got a Mercedes Benz Club. This one, not as well known as Club Black. That one's, uh, it's okay. And then Boss Bottled Absolute, or the newest in the Boss Bottled line. We've got three Royal Crown fragrances here, Tabac Royal, and then uh, this one, which is uh, what, Zima, and then Noor. Uh, I, I always forget the pronunciation on the second one. And three Zoologist fragrances, Bat, Chameleon, and Dodo, which I believe, um, Dodo's getting reformulated. So pretty soon there's gonna be Dodo 2. So uh, Parfums Vintage Pineapple Vintage Emperor. And then this one is Sublime Musk. Couple Mercedes-Benz fragrances. Addictive Oriental, this is done by Alberto Marias. And then Infinite Spicy, done by Olivier Cresp. And at one point in time, those were easy to find and were pretty cheap, but I think they are getting a little bit harder to find. Could be wrong, but I think they are. Vanilla Intense, another pineapple vintage. Uh, Cacophony from Parfums Vintage. And this is Sandal Amber, again, Parfums Vintage. This one is King, and this one is Sunset in Heaven. Pretty much all of the Parfums Vintage fragrances I have over here, other than actually a few more over there. Intrigo Devastante is uh, the next one up. Then we have Evolution de l'Homme Matin, Exaltant Le Musk, Emerald Isle, and Evolution de l'Homme Soi. So, a few more, and we've got five more Parfums Vintage here. This one is X Batch. It's got the different sticker on the front. Pineapple Vintage Noir. This is uh, old school. This is from their first runs back in the day. And then Beyond Noir, Verbena Fields, which is Green Irish Tweed, and King, another King. So I guess I have two. We've got Noir Epice by Frederick Maul, Musk Ravageur, freaking awesome. Madeiras de Orient Oscuro from uh, PK Perfumes, Paul Kyler, and House of Siage number four, which has the cool kind of click button thing. And that is shelf number three. Only two more to go, but that means I'm gonna be doing a lot of ducking. Ooh. Gravitas from uh, Naughton and Wilson, which is of course Mr. Smelly on YouTube. Mercedes-Benz Select, this one smells similar to Greed's Aventus. Sunrise Vetiver by Frank Olivier. This is actually pretty good. Uh, I got this like three or four dollars. It was um, a Black Friday sale years ago, but you can still find it for cheap. And then some fragrances from Caswell Massey, Jockey Club, 1840, uh, Greenbrier, 1984, and Tricorn, 1941 of those Jockey Club, my favorite. Now we've got the Banana Republic Icon Collection. So we've got 17 Oud Mosaic Tobacco and Tonka Bean, 06 Black Platinum, Neroli Woods, and Dark Cherry and Amber. 17 Oud Mosaic. <laughs> Cypress Cedar, 83 Leather Reserve, 78 Vintage Green, probably my favorite of the bunch, and 90 Pure White. Linen Vetiver, 06 Black Platinum, and a tester of Neroli Woods, which is also pretty good. And then uh, Kelsey Berwin, Zeus Pour Ohm. This briefly, very briefly, got talked about years and years ago, back when Beauty Spin it was still around before it turned into an Otino. Kelsey Berwin had a number of cheap fragrances. Nobody really knew a whole lot about Kelsey Berwin. Still doesn't because I don't think they're in business, but I, I could be wrong, but I think they went out. And uh, Zeus is kind of like their version of uh, a blue de Chanel, like a blue fragrance. Okay, we've got some English Laundry, Notting Hill. English Laundry, sometimes you can find at TJ Maxx or Ross's for really, really cheap. Riviera, which I've reviewed, and Windsor. And we've got Coco Rico which uh, looks like a man's face. If you turn it sideways, it looks like a Lamal bottle. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, 
some deodorizing body spray <laughs> of Nautica Voyage Heritage, which came with uh, the bottle when I bought it. Lucky me. Next up, Laurent Mazzoni Black Oud. This one sometimes you can find 50, 60 bucks on eBay, other places. It's an extract de parfum, smells similar to Black Afghano, Salvador Dali, and this is sick. <laughs> this is a great fragrance. Unfortunately, discontinued now. But uh, yeah, Salvador Dali, uh, pour them. This one's super strong, 80s kind of vibe. Yeah, it's hard to find now, so you can give it a whiff, but it's really, really good and hard to find now. Once Upon a Time was very inexpensive, extremely inexpensive. Original Penguin Premium Blend. So, you know, warm weather, cheapy. And Ladano Nero by Tiziana Terenzi. Next up, Quorum Silver. I got this for really cheap from TJ Maxx. That's a nice woody scent. Bentley from In Intense. That one's very good. Bentley from In Absolute, also very good. And look at this. Bentley from In Intense. <laughs> got two of them. And then Julia as a gun vanilla vibes. Don't really dig the fragrance, but I do dig the bottle. The bottle looks cool. Then we have the Fendi fragrances. So Fan de Fendi. And these also were pretty cheap and then discontinued and prices have started to rise on some of those. And then we've got the Aqua Flanker right there. And then we have Neanderthal Light and Neanderthal Dark. And those are quite unique fragrances. And here we are with Mahogany Woods. This was the Bath & Body fragrance that for the longest time, everybody was like, oh, this is the one you gotta get because it's the best quality one. And it is really nice. Uh, retailed for, what, $29.50? And when they, uh, you know, when they discontinued them, you could pick them up for nothing. And now they go for a lot. Kenneth Cole Black Bold. And we have our Moff Club de Nuit Man, One Million Clone, and Swiss Arabian, Muda Maez, which um, I don't really care for. <laughs> then we've got the Maserati fragrances, Pure Code, just Maserati, Pure Code Blue, and Centennial Polo Tour. And I've actually tried to give some of these away <laughs> in giveaways and just nobody wants them. I can't even give those away. And then Nautica Voyage Heritage, that's the one that came with the, the other bottle. And these are the last two on this shelf. Ferragamo Womo, Bentley Infinite. Or is it Infinity? Infinite. <laughs> Infinity. 